Are you looking for some guidance on what products to use on your gray hair? Well, then you've come to the right place. Today, I'm going to share with you all of the products that I use on my naturally silver hair every month to help it look and feel its best. Hi, I'm Katie Emery, the founder of katiegoesplatinum.com, a website completely devoted to the topic of gray hair. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here today. Now, before I discuss the products, I want to answer one of the most frequently asked questions on my website, which is, is gray hair more high maintenance than dyed hair? Based on my personal experience, I would say no. The reason that I feel gray hair is not as high maintenance as dyed hair is because I'm not chasing my roots anymore. I'm not buying root sprays, root powders, root mascaras. I'm not having to go to the salon in between dye jobs to get my roots touched up. I no longer have to buy shine sprays or glosses. I don't have to get keratin treatments or Brazilian blowouts. My hair is healthier than it's been in years. It grows in shiny, strong, and smooth. I hope that you have the same experience too. Now you do have to baby gray hair a little bit more than dyed hair or natural colored hair because as your hair loses pigment, it does become a little more fragile and it can be a little more dry, so it needs moisture. And it can also be prone to yellowing. Since I'm trying to keep my gray hair moisturized, prevent yellowing, and also treat yellowing in my gray hair, most of the products I'm recommending here today do those things. Maybe not all of them, but some of them. So I'll tell you throughout the video which ones they do. Now, before I move on to the products, I just wanted to ask you if you find this video fun, helpful, or informative, please do make sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to start with my favorite basic everyday shampoo and conditioner, and that is the BTW Company Daily Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner. They look like this. This is the conditioner, this is the shampoo. They were created by a fellow silver-haired blogger, Lauren Stein of the How Bourgeois blog. She was one of the first bloggers I found when I went gray, and she knows a lot about gray hair, and I love her products. The BTW Company's shampoo and conditioner are cruelty-free, they are made in Canada, and they are free of many of the ingredients I try to avoid using on my gray hair. The shampoo and conditioner are very mildly scented, and they are very gentle, but they do clean well. Ever since COVID, it seems like they've been difficult to find on Amazon, so I will put a link both to Amazon and to the BTW company's website. So you should be able to find the shampoo and conditioner at one of those places. Now, as I mentioned earlier, my gray hair is prone to yellowing. So in order to reduce the appearance of yellowing, I always turn to purple shampoo because purple is the opposite color of yellow on the color wheel. And therefore it helps cover up yellow tones in your hair. I have tested dozens of purple shampoos and my absolute favorite is Bold Unique Purple Shampoo and Conditioner. They look like this. What I love about Bold Unique is that it is super intense. It's probably the most intense purple shampoo I've ever used. I will try to put up some footage here so you can see how dark purple it is. It really does work. Like a number of the other products I use, it is cruelty-free and it is paraben-free and sulfate-free. The purple color of the Bold Unique is so intense that it's one of the few purple shampoos that I do recommend you use gloves with. When you first buy it, it will come with a pair of disposable gloves, but of course you can only use those once. So I'll put a link somewhere in the show notes below for a box of disposable gloves that I keep on hand when I'm using it. If you're not careful, it could leave a stain on your part. So I really recommend getting in there, really scrubbing it out, and also using gloves if you care about staining on your hands. Usually I find after using a purple shampoo that my hair is very dry and I have to deep condition it. But with the Bold Unique, as long as I use their companion conditioner, I don't have to follow up with a deep conditioner. Some people leave the Bold Unique on for as little as three to five minutes, but I've always found that my hair needs a little more time for any purple shampoo. So I tend to leave it on for at least 10 minutes. You don't wanna to go too far over that or you can end up with kind of a gunmetal gray color to your hair. And if you don't want that, and if you don't want a violet tint, I recommend maybe going 10 minutes, maybe a little more. Just experiment and see what works for you. I don't recommend using purple shampoo of any variety more than once a week because it can leave a lavender tint to your hair. And as I said, it is very drying. So I recommend using it maybe once or twice a month. It does give your hair a little oomph. It makes it super bright. I am very happy with it. Purple shampoo does reduce the appearance of yellowing, but it does not remove the yellowing. If you want to remove the yellowing, you will need to try something else. So once a month, I use the Quicksilver Hair Clay Kit to brighten my hair, remove yellowing caused by air pollution and other environmental factors, mineral buildup, product buildup, etc., And it leaves my hair feeling fantastic, squeaky clean, moisturized, soft, bright. It does everything I want it to do. The only thing the Quicksilver Hair Clay Kit can't do is remove yellowing 
from sun damage or heat damage. Nothing will remove that except for cutting it out. Okay, so the Quicksilver Hair Clay Kit is a little more involved than just using purple shampoo. So I do it on a day when I have a little extra time and I wanna kinda of give my hair a spa treatment. When you buy the Quicksilver Hair Clay Kit, it comes with the Kaolin Clay Mixture, which is in the bag or the tin. And then you also get the Quicksilver Hair Squalane Oil. You basically have to mix the clay with some squalane oil and some clarifying conditioner. You make it into a mixture that kind of feels like cake frosting. You put it all over your hair and you wait anywhere from five to 40 minutes. Now I like to do 40 minutes for the full treatment. After the 40 minutes is up, I rinse it out and my hair feels cleaner than it has since the last time I used it. My hair is always brighter after I use it. Quicksilver Hair Clay is made in the United States by my friend Jolie Campbell, the founder of quicksilverhair.com. If you need to know anything about the science of gray hair, make sure you check out her blog and her products. She is awesome. If I want to clarify my hair on a day when I don't have a lot of time, not enough time to do the Quicksilver Hair Clay Kit, instead I will get just a regular clarifying shampoo. I used to love the Neutrogena Anti-Residue Shampoo, but apparently it's gone off the market. So my current favorite is the Hair Print Chelating Shampoo. I think that's how you pronounce it. It looks like this. The hair print chelating shampoo is 100% plant-based and it's cruelty-free. It is very mildly scented to the point of really not having much of a scent at all. And it removes buildup caused by hard water and hair products. Clarifying shampoo of any variety can be drying, so I always follow it up with a deep conditioner. I'll tell you in a few minutes which one I use. The hair print clarifying shampoo is definitely more expensive than the Neutrogena was, but I really do love it. However, it is very thin, so it's easy to accidentally pour out too much. I have a child who frequently overuses my fancy hair products, so I have to hide it from him sometimes because it's so easy to pour out more than you want. Now I'm going to tell you a little secret. Aveda makes a fantastic clarifying shampoo that unfortunately is no longer on the market. It is only available for salon use, but I have an inside source and she sold me some. It's the Aveda Hair Detoxifier and it is amazing. First of all, it smells fantastic like all Aveda products. It also really gets my hair clean and it leaves it bright even without a purple shampoo. However, like I said, you can't buy it in the stores. They do sell it on Amazon, but when I checked out the reviews, a lot of people are afraid that that's not actually the authentic product. So I do recommend that if you do want to buy it, you contact your local Aveda salon and see if there's any chance on earth that they'll sell it to you. As I mentioned, clarifying shampoos can be drying, so I always follow them up with a deep conditioner. My favorite is this one. It's the Joico K-Pack Intense Hydrator. Now, you can use it for as little as five minutes, but when I use it, I like to keep it on for anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes for a really intense moisturizing experience. It is cruelty-free and it contains clean ingredients, and they say that it boosts shine and improves hair elasticity. I am not a hair scientist, but I do notice my hair looks great after I use it. I use it not only whenever I clarify my hair or if I'm using a purple shampoo that does not come with a companion conditioner, but I also use it whenever I feel like my hair needs a little extra moisturizing. Before I move on to the next section, please definitely go into the comment section and let me know what products you use for your gray hair. What products make your hair look and feel its best? What products target problems that you might find with your gray hair? Please let us know because this is a community and everybody, including me, would love to hear from you. The most important product that I use to prevent yellowing in my gray hair is a shower filter. The one I use is the Aquabliss Multi-Stage Shower Filter. I love it. I've never installed it myself, but my husband did and said it was very easy to use. The reason we use it is because we live in a city with very hard water. Now, if we owned our own house, we would definitely probably get a whole house water softener system, but we rent. We live in Southern California and it's insanely expensive to buy here, so we're still renting, unfortunately. But the point is, is the Aquabliss shower filter is a very inexpensive way to help you solve your hard water problem. You just screw it on and once a month you replace the cartridges. They look like this. It filters out harmful minerals, chlorine, and it also reduces product and environmental buildup in your hair. Since we started using it, both my son and I have noticed that our hair is much cleaner and easier to rinse. But you just have to make sure that you replace your cartridges every month. That is something that my family struggles with. We're all a little forgetful. So I have a big reminder on my Apple phone just to remind me to change the filter once a month. So since sun damage and heat damage can cause yellowing that can't be removed, I really do try to prevent it before it happens, so I always use the Scene Blowout Cream. It is a UV protectant and a heat protectant, so I put a little on my hair whether I'm going to blow dry it or just air dry it. Every time I go outside, I wear a hat. 
I use the Wallaroo hat, which has some UV protection built right in. But if I want to go out and show off my hair without using a hat, I use not only the Scene Blowout Cream, but also this wonderful sunscreen by Kula. I just spray some on my scalp for some protection up there. And I also spray it on my hair. If I use too much, it can make my hair feel a little greasy. So I try to only use what I think I need. Both the Scene Blowout Cream and the Kula are cruelty free and they're free from many of the products that we try to avoid. Because my hair is so prone to yellowing, I try not to use a blow dryer very often. I did invest in a Dyson blow dryer. It looks like this, so pretty with the magenta. However, I have to be honest, I don't use it very much because even though it has adjustable temperature settings, I find that even on the lowest temperature setting, it gets a little hotter than I would like to use on my hair. However, if I do feel desperate for a blowout, I will use it, but I will use it on the lowest setting with the Scene Blowout Cream. I will take my paddle brush and I will just pull my hair while blow drying and I'll hold it at least six inches away so that I'm not burning my hair with the heat. Or if I can stand it, I put it on the cold setting, which is pretty cold, so I have to do it on a day when I'm not freezing. And the nice thing about the Dyson is it does dry your hair quickly. In the old days with a regular blow dryer, it might take me 10 to 20 minutes to dry my hair, but with the Dyson, it takes five to seven minutes. However, most days I do not use a blow dryer. Instead, what I do is I wash my hair, I wrap it up in a hair turban and leave it in for about 20 minutes. After that's done, I brush it and I let it sit there and air dry until it's about 80% dry. Once it reaches that point, I pull out my handy secret weapon for curls. That is the Octo Curl. I love it. It is my favorite heatless curl product. And because my hair is fine and it tends to either get stuck to microfiber or slip off of satin products, I bought the Poplin version. This is the long hair version. I also have the standard version since I kind of like to switch between medium and long hair. Both of them are excellent. But basically you put it on like a headband and you wrap your hair around. I use two of these things. You wrap it around there, you tie it off at the ends and you wait until your hair is dry. Now I work from home so I can do that and sit here all day with it if I want to. However, you can also use it at night and sleep in it. Back when I was dyeing my hair, I used a lot more sprays and oils and serums than I do now. I needed them because my hair was dull and I had a lot of unwanted frizz. That is not the issue anymore. However, like a lot of women with gray hair, I sometimes get those very noticeable baby gray hairs that just stick straight up. Now, you did get those too when your hair was dyed, but they just didn't show as much. That white hair sticking up really does show. If I do get those annoying baby hairs sticking up, what I do is I take a little squalane oil, just make one or two pumps into my palm, rub my palms together, and I just kind of smooth it down at the top. As with most oils, I try not to overdo it so you don't get a greasy look to your hair. I live in Southern California, so I don't have to worry too much about humidity. However, I do like to travel a lot, so I did buy a product to help me combat unwanted frizz from humidity when I'm traveling. The one I use is the Weedad Advanced Climate Control Gel. What I like about it is that it does not leave my hair feeling crunchy like some gels do. It's a very light hold gel. It's also cruelty free and does not contain many of the ingredients that I try to avoid. I recently used it on a trip to humid Florida and while it didn't get rid of all of the unwanted frizz, I did not end up with a big poofy mess like I often do when I visit the South. Definitely check out the playlist I have about gray hair products if you have more questions or concerns about what products to use on your gray hair. And if you haven't done so already, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button and make sure to hit the little notification bell so you can find out whenever I post a new video. Thanks so much for watching.